Hi everyone, Nina here. Thank you for joining us in our Year 3 celebration this week. Today I'm sharing some new inks I discovered lately and I wanted to share them with you. I used our Enveloper Kindness stamp set for this dimensional trifle mini card. As you can see here, the corner of the front panel can be tucked in to stay flat. I used the good old paper piecing technique along with some foam dots to achieve the look. Are you ready? Let's get started. I just finished swatching my Distress Oxide inks and I'm so happy that they're good stamping inks that do not stain my stamps. And here's the Enveloper Kindness stamp set. All the elements I'm using are from this set. The ink colors I'm using are Iced Spruce, Faded Jeans, Broken China, Warm Lipstick, and Fired Brick. I was inspired by an art Helen Dardick shared on her Instagram earlier to use reds and blues on my card. She's also the illustrator of all the enveloper stamp sets. I'm such a fan. To make the base, trim a piece of letter-sized cardstock to 3.5 by 11 and score in 3 and 3 quarters and 7 and a quarter lengthwise. At this point, the two ends are a quarter inch longer than the middle section. We're going to trim off the excess so it doesn't matter. Just don't try to force them in. I'm putting down a piece of washi tape to each fold so I can see them better when I'm stamping. I'm going to stamp my first layers in iced spruce directly on the car front. So here's the tricky part. Remember that you're rotating your paper 180 degrees to stamp the other end? Rotate your stamp too. Ask me how I know. Also remember to line up the stamps a little bit off the edges so you won't end up with any gap on your finished card. With my first layers stamped, I'm going to trim off the excess. This way I can fold the card in as the finished card and that will help me decide where I want the colors to be. I'm trimming about 1 16th an inch away from the images. Fold them in, and the top there looks like a great place for sentiment. There are two main images in this stamp set. I went ahead and stamped each of them four times in four different colors. I like to have all the colors and all the layers laying in front of me to help me decide where I want the colors to be. So I know for sure I want this bear in the blue color. So I'm cutting it out first, and then I'll decide which color to cut the next. I'm cutting as close to the edges as possible and also leaving the bottom of the bear open so I can trim them off once I have adhered it to the bottom of the card. This way, I don't have a gap. I'm going to skip the next part of the video since it's just me playing with the colors, playing with the layers, doing a little hand cutting therapy um, and I'll be back with all the layers cut. I think it's so fun just to cut out the bear's hand from the bottom and then tuck in another color. Look at that. So cute. If you decide you don't like a color somewhere, you can always cut another piece to put it on top. It actually adds dimension to your card. Just like the bear, I'm leaving the bottom of all the small leaves and the bottom open. So they're easier to hold, easier for you to adhere them down, and you can get a very clean edge once you have all the pieces down and you trim the edges once. So start with your base layer and build the dimension with each layer of bare. I used the foam adhesive here to help me add more dimension to the card. I think the results is totally worth the effort. Looking good. I just love, love, love this bear. As I said before, my favorite part about this card is the opportunity to play with the colors. Helen Dardick, the illustrator of the stamp set, even though she drew everything in black, I'm pretty much sure she has a very colorful image in her head. Because all the flowers, all the leaves, when you just put them in one color, you will get some pretty amazing results. I'm putting all the little pieces for the left panel down first so it can help me decide where I want the 
colors to be on the right hand side. Just like how I leave the edges for the leaves and the bottom, I leave the bear's hand attached to the butterfly on there when I'm tucking it down so they're easier to hold and they will be covered by the bear in the front. But it looks like the picture is in uh, one full picture that it's now bricked into parts. Since I showed you earlier how the left panel tuck into the right hand side, you might think I plant this. No, I didn't. It just happened, it just so happened that this leaf, I want it to be a different color and it's perfect to tuck the corner in. So now if you want to replicate the results, you have to keep in mind that you have to have this leaf right in the corner of your right hand side. So your left hand side can tuck in there. I'm using my paper trimmer to fix the rough edges I left in the top of the card. I will then trim off the little ends with my scissors. I he embossed plant kindness in white on Levy Kostak and stamped Gather's Love on the inside of the card in pink. I used 3 8 inch corner rounder to round the top of the card for a softer look. I also finished the card with a butterfly in the top right hand corner. This way when you close the card, it looks like the bear is looking at the butterfly. And of course, the corner that you can tuck the nerve panel in. And here's my finished card. I hope you enjoy today's video. As part of our celebration, we're giving away a set of all the 12 Distress Oxide inks. You can enter by leaving comments to the links in the description to this video. Thank you for sharing a part of your day with me. See you soon.